Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into Carroll High School. Carroll High School boys taking on these Penn Kingsmen. We got a good one here tonight, no doubt about it. One of the top teams in the Summit Athletic Conference in the Carroll Chargers. We are here. Big shout out, Athletic Director Dan Gender, always an outstanding host. This is SummitCitySports.com coming to you live or not. <laughs> Gotta get used to that as we've had trouble. In the early year, getting you the live broadcast. Well, this is on tape, no delay. As McKeeman comes up short, grows for the putback up, and that's the bucket. For number 20, Shear starts it easy for Carroll and head coach. Marty Beasley here at Carroll High School, out to the wing. Man to man defense. And the jumper put in up and over for Noah Applegate. This is SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Nice play, but no bucket for McKeeman. Nice look off glass. There's the big fella, David Asia, going high for that board. The top players coming in. And finally a senior. Been playing since his freshman year for head coach Marty Beasley. So the starting five for head coach Marty Beasley is Daniel McKeeman. As Richie Gross to the bucket. Lays it up and in for zip. Number two, Richie Gross for Ray Vollmer. Number five, Daniel McKeeman. Number 20, Preston Shear. Number 25, David Eja. And another bucket back to backs. They keep rolling. Four pen, number 10, Carter Hickey. Number 11, Drew Lutz. Number 21, Bo Ludwig. Number 30, Noah Applegate. And number 33, Keegan Hoskins. Four, head coach Al Rhodes and the Penn Kingsman. Man-to-man -man defense being played by the Kingsman. Big jumper, no good from McKeeman. Ooh, may have got away with the travel on the rebound. Here they go, the Kingsman, good look down low. Turn around off glass, and that's gonna take a hit from Richie Gross, the junior. And that will send him to the line. Number 33, Keegan Hoskins for Penn. Carol number two, Richie Gross. So Gross picks up the first team foul. And this is on the first from a little love from the student section on the left side down there on court side on your camera. That one rattled home once again. So Penn breaks the tie, 5-4. McKeeman, Asia, good pressure up top. From Ludwig, Gross, and they'll reset. Vollmer on the wing, baseline, knocked away. Here comes Penn, another live turnover. Couldn't lead to another bucket, Esha. Did challenge a shot, but a foul on David Esha, his first team second. That will send number 11, Drew Lutz, the senior, 6'1 point guard to the charity stripe. First one up and good, 6'4. This is SummitCitySports.com. Tim Atkinson here calling your play by play. Knocks them both in, up by a tray are the Kingsmen. A little half-court trap from Penn with the big fella up top, Applegate. Near 10 second, good split of the D from Gross. Receives the ball back baseline, hangs, can't get it to go. Good challenge, saved, but right to Penn. Here comes Lutz, the lob, good look, but no. Battle for the board, who's gonna come down with it? 50-50 ball, and they're gonna get a foul on number 21, Bo Ludwig. The 6'2 senior, first team foul on Penn. His first as well. 
of course. Penn stays in the man-to-man. -man. McKeeman left open for a three on the gamble. On the pass, picked up. Off the loose. Hoskins, they look to push once again. Does Penn. They go down in the races. Jumper, stands still three. And looks right at the student section. Gotta like it, 10-4. Big shot that time for Ludwig. He's got five of the early 10. Well, hesitation from Vollmer, hands gross. McKeeman, need to get Ezra. He's got him on his backside, and McKeeman went opposite. Ezra has not had a touchdown low. Blocked, Shear, but we're gonna get a foul. That will send Shear to the line. Second team foul on Penn. As they get that on number 33, Keegan Hoskins. Shear, back rims on the first. Keeps it 10 4. Shear, second attempt. 332 left in this first quarter. SummitCitySports.com. It's the second. Cuts it in half. And he stepped out of bounds right in front of the official. Got his full foot on the baseline. Turnover. Back to Carroll and a little life for the Neon Nation on that far side. So Carroll chosen either one, two, or three to finish in the SAC. It's really open there at top. A lot of people, including myself, have Snyder working on that SAC championship. But it will be all played on the floor. And SummitCitySports.com will bring in you the action. Hopefully more live than not as we continue to work on that. Nice double jump from Vollmer. Make it sheer, excuse me, the 6'2", 175-er. The forward senior, that second jump was key. As he'll head to the line to shoot two again. One for two in that last trip. So one of three in the last two trips for Vollmer. Excuse me, Shear. Lutz, hesitation with the left hand. Cross court pass, open triple, Penn got it. Number 10, Carter Hickey up by eight. Go the Kingsmen, two and a half minutes. And we're gonna have a timeout call by head coach Marty Beasley. He wants to talk about it. Not a great start for Carroll. We'll take it with them. Nope, we're going to stay right here, SummitCitySports.com. Thank you for joining us here tonight. Big shout out, of course, to our title sponsor, Parkview Sports Medicine, where it is game on. We are the region's largest integrated sports medicine team, providing athletes specialized services from improving their performance to recovering from injuries. To learn more, go to ParkviewSportsMedicine.com. Kelly Automotive Group is Indiana's number one automotive group with over 1,000 new vehicles and 500 pre-owned pre vehicles to choose from. Please visit drivekelly.com. Simple, transparent, reliable. So 2.32 on the clock, SummitCitySports.com. Here's McKeeman. No substitutions for Carroll yet. Stay with the man-to-man, -man, does Penn. They've gone three-quarter court trap on some makes. Open look. Carroll needs to hit some shots here. They're just off shooting the ball, and Penn is not. Well, that's a difference here. 13-5, 2-12 left in the first. Whenever. In the corner, Penn, two minutes 
here in the first. Good start for head coach Al Rhodes. Lutz, wide open look. That was a good step back in. In the pocket, drains it. Penn is in fuego right now from three, up by 11. McKeeman. Gross, up top, Volmer. McKeeman gets a screen from Shear. Backs it out, picks up the dribble. Now back down Shear. A little scoop pass. McKeeman kept it alive, baseline. Crafty move from the point guard. Daniel McKeeman lays it up and in. That's his first bucket. And another three. Nope, not that time. Tracked down once again by Ludwig. Just moved Veja out of the way. But gets his own board. Scoop pass to number 41, Ronald Paulus. The sophomore has just checked in and missed it. Here comes Carroll. Good look. Knocked away by Lutz. He's got good length and athleticism. He's seeing it right there. Can't get it to go, but we're going to have a foul. Loose ball foul on. I believe this is going to go on Noah Applegate, the senior. On the loose ball, rebound, 101-7-16, Carroll down. Substitution here, number 11, Tyler Morrison, the six-foot junior. McKeeman, he'll bring it up. Here's Gross, McKeeman. They flare out Gross, they want to post up Shear. Why not get that Ezra here on this near side? No touches early. Got to get the ball down to the big fella. McKeeman. Morrison up top, Gross. There we go, Ezra. As they're laying off, can they make them pay? No, battle for the rebound, poked away by Penn comes down to Hickey. The big fella, spin move. That's tasty. No good. Ezra's length did get to it and then saved. Head coach Beasley wanted to foul on the other end. Morrison, good dribble. Even better defense played by Penn and that Keegan Hoskins. Penn's been very impressive. Ooh, Lutz. Oh, come on, kid. At the buzzer. Number 11, Drew Lutz. He has taken over the quarter and they lead by 12. What a start for Penn here at Carroll High School. We'll take a break, SummitCitySports.com. Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent, our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable, buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group, simple, transparent, reliable. Both runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports, become a sponsor, join our winning team today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com getting set for our second quarter as we are at Carroll High School, home of the Chargers. Good pressure on that weak side from Ezra, but the offensive boards and the scrape from McKeeman, not good enough for Hoskins. Hoskins powered through and put it in for the bucket. Woo. What a start, though, here from Penn from deep. Telling you what. It's been tremendous. Can't convert on the three-point opportunity. Still 14-point lead for Penn. McKeeman, good dribble drive, teardrop. Can't get it to go. There's a lid on that other end, no doubt. Seven and a half. Lutz, good look. He hit that beautiful buzzer. Beat her at, and right over Ezra. That's an impressive move with the right hand off glass. Nightmare start here for head coach Marty Beasley. McKeeman. 
Need to get Ezra. Ezra needs to put that backside right in the defender and create that space backwards instead of forwards. Here he is. Good look from McKeeman. Face up. Ezra. That's come on. I'm just going to go ahead and move on with that one. So foul there on Carroll and David Ezra. That's his second as he will check out. Being held scoreless through the first nine minutes of this contest here at home against Penn. Lutz. The lefty hangs and hits. Come on, kid. Drew Lutz having a coming out party here against Carroll. Lutz well, now with 10 points. 640 left in the second quarter. McKeeman. The take with the right hand. And that's going to be a little bump call. Tough one there on Penn. Well, that will send Gross to the line, the 6'1 junior. 6.30 on the clock, SummitCitySports.com. Joe Hacker on the camera. Tim Atkinson here calling your play-by-play. -play. Thank you for joining us. Continue to work on our internet issues at every gym here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and the surrounding area. Look out. I'll be out at East Noble High School this coming Tuesday for a big one. Maybe two of the best teams in the Northeast Indiana area. And the Snyder Panthers traveling up north to Kenneville to take on the East Noble Knights. Ali, Ali, Hayden Jones and company against them Snyder Panthers with Dylan Duff, Ely, and the Panthers. Out of bounds, we'll stay at this end, 25-8, Penn. Heck of a start from distance. And Lutz, the point guard, has been tremendous. Here he is. Deep three. Come on. Drew Lutz. Are you serious, kid? Another triple. Feeling it. 13 points of the 28 here for Penn. He is lighting it up from downtown, and Carroll right now has no answers. Sam Stricker, the sophomore, just check in for Carroll, number 51 on the post there. Try to get it to him, another turnover. Lutz, another steal. That's three unofficial. Whoa, hello, Lutz. What a bounce pass. Are you kidding me? This kid, the senior, Drew Lutz. Wow. Tremendous effort. With the left hand, but Lutz, you can see it. He's just has a look on his face. He is absolute enjoyment of playing the game of basketball. 539. Here's Gross. Looking for McKeeman on that double screen. Does get it off blocked. Woo! 520. 20 point game here, Penn. Coming down here at Fort Wayne and laying the stomp downs early. Six team fouls on the Kingsmen, four on the Chargers. So one away from the one and one here. McKeeman, finally an open tray. Got it. Carroll needed that in the absolute worst way. Still down 17, but McKeeman with the triple now has five points. Lutz. Hickey. Good defense up top by McKeeman. They're going to go right down to the post to Hoskins. Hoskins faces up. Turn around. Good help defense. And thrown out. Sheer. Two went to one. And that left a wide open shot, but missed it. And Shear with the athleticism getting up rim height there. Let's see if a little momentum can lead to a couple buckets and stops for the Chargers and head coach Marty Beasley. Here's Shear on the post. 
Look at that height on the athleticism. Striker. Hello, Sam Striker. What an offensive rebound. See some athleticism from both kids there. 420. Oh, the Carroll Charger fans wanted the offensive foul as Eja had it on the other end. And they are irate. Fouled his own shot and put it back in for the easy bucket. No excuse for that. And the putback, Derek Durda, the junior. We're midway through the second quarter. McKeeman, the flare out. Goes baseline, rejects a screen, teardrop, got it. McKeeman starting to he heat up a bit here. Seven points for the talented senior. And that's going to be a foul on Stryker. Three forty-four on the clock. Hits the first sixteen point game. Biggest has been twenty. Hits them both. He'll check out with five points. Will Hoskins, the senior. But Drew Lutz, he has been the story. The talented senior point guard. His basketball IQ, his shooting prowess, his passing ability, his defense has all been on, on display here. Stryker, good look, baseline. McKeeman, but Lutz moving the feet there, kept it in front. Kids, that's how you play defense. Sheer, too easy. Preston Sheer. Started slow, but Preston Sheer coming on. The senior 6'2", but he plays more like 6'5", 6'6", with his jumping ability. 15-point deficit. Lutz hangs. No. Lutz, are you kidding me? Once again, looking for the foul, and Lutz hangs and hits. 15 points. What an answer. Daniel McKeeman needed that badly. Did the Chargers, and McKeeman answers it. For head coach Marty Beasley, 245 left in the second quarter. SummitCitySports.com. Lutz, they went underneath the screen. Stricker, excuse me, did pop out. Read that wrong. Here's Lutz from deep. No. In and out. Heat check. Rebound sheer. 230 left. Gross. McKeeman needs to touch a ball here on this set. He's the hot hand. Got to get the ball to McKeeman. They tried to there, Stricker. Looking for the back cut, nope. Knocked away, Stricker. He's got his dribble back. McKeeman, jump shot, bucket. I told you, once you've got McKeeman rolling, you gotta keep going to the high hand, and that is McKeeman. 12 points now, just three behind the game high of Lutz. Under two minutes. That one long, another. How about that look to Shear? Blocked. What a block by the big fella, Ronald Paulus, the sophomore. Spin move, uh-uh. Are you kidding me? Number 30, Noah Applegate, the senior, 6'6", six, six, and running the floor and showing you the handle. Spin move with the right hand up and in. McKeeman, right back to it. 12 points. It is the deficit now, 14 for McKeeman. 120, what a battle. After... Having the Thanksgiving hangover, Lutz. Maybe a little bit out of control that time. A lot of contact, though. Sheer, that was behind him. Nothing he can do about that. Here's the big fella. That's a charge. Absolutely great play by 51, Sam Stricker. Read that the whole way. You thought Applegate was going to go to the Euro. I think he picked the ball up just a tad too soon. And we're going to have a timeout called on the floor by head coach Al Rhodes with 103 left in this first half. Again, none of this would be possible without our title sponsor, Parkview Sports Medicine. 
is the area's largest integrated sports medicine team specialized in serving every level of athlete no matter if they're trying to get better at what they do or recovering from an injury. Our expert can coordinate your care and in state-of-the-art facilities in our community. To start your journey, visit us at parkviewsportsmedicine.com. Kelly Automotive Group is Indiana's number one automotive group with over 1,000 new vehicles and 500 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Please visit drivekelly.com. Simple, transparent, reliable. Do you use the holidays to better yourself or take a break and slip into the funk? December 24th, 26th, 27th, and 28th. Always 100 basketball. Putting on two camps, K through 8th grade. Check them out. www.always100basketball.com. So we'll start it back to the live action. 52 seconds. Good back cut, but Lutz once again forced the turnover. And then split the defense. Foul will be on the floor, but that's going to be a one and one. Nope, just a six team foul on Carroll, 43 seconds. Checking in for the first time, number 33, Luke Relu, 6'2 senior. Also for Penn, Richard Brooks, the freshman who was inbounding the ball right there. Here's Lutz, 40 seconds. No shot clock in the state of Indiana. But a five-second closely guarded call is in effect here. There's Durda, 27 seconds. There's the freshman, Brooks. Sheer guarding, 18 seconds. Good patience here from Penn. Here's Hickey, Lutz up top, 13 seconds. Lutz, this ball should not leave his hands. Here's the senior, eight seconds, six seconds. The pull up, great pressure defense, but another offensive rebound and the putback is good to go into the break with a backbreaker for Carroll and the offensive putback at the buzzer for the Penn Kingsman. What an impressive half for Number 11, Drew Lutz, the senior for Penn, 15 points, handful of steals, a couple of rebounds, and a handful of assists. The kid has been tremendous in the open court once he pulls those live rebounds and live steals for Carroll. Daniel McKeeman leads with 14 points for his club. David Eja, the story with two personal fouls, but not a lot of touches in that first half. Anyway, here for head coach Marty Beasley. So they're going to have to, of course, try and get the ball down to David Ezio to start the third quarter here at Carroll High School in the Fieldhouse. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is SummitCitySports.com. Thank you for joining us. Follow us on Twitter at 260Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel that you're watching on here tonight. We'll take a break for halftime. Carroll down 38-24 to the Penn Kingsman. You are watching Indiana High School Basketball right here from SummitCitySports.com. When you experience a sports injury, muscle, or joint pain, you want treatment right away. Parkview Ortho Express provides same-day orthopedic and sports injury care without referral or appointment, offering diagnostics, x-rays, the region's only body composition DEXA scan right inside of the Sport 1 Parkview Fieldhouse. Walk in Monday through Thursday, 7 to 7, Friday, 7 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to noon. For more information, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash ortho express. It's the comments. Comments falling from the sky. 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 As a mom, I um, appreciate that um, someone was able to get me into the system, having a, an appointment quickly so we could get him to return to the football team as quick as possible. It was kind of nice to witness the neuro assessment and how in-depth the neuro assessment was here in the concussion clinic. It was just an amazing process.
The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. Reliable. Concussions. They're a concern for parents of athletes in any sport. That's why Parkview Sports Medicine is leading the way with the area's first concussion clinic. Our integrated sports medicine team utilizes an innovative, evidence-based approach to manage athletic-related head injuries in those 14 and older, providing comprehensive care to get the athlete you love safely back in play. To schedule an appointment, call Parkview Sports Medicine at 266-4007. Reaching higher. Pushing further, Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. Get mad about blue. Get mad about your Fort Wayne Mad Ants. When looking for the best basketball action in town, it's a... to FortWayneMadAnts.com for the complete game schedule. See your Fort Wayne Mad Ants in action. Get mad about blue. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education, but also the experience. Parkview Sports Medicine, especially since I've been a pro, has been a place where my game has really been able to develop in multiple facets. Injury prevention, maintenance, physical therapy, weightlifting, agility work, you know, all the things that I need to do in order to have an NBA body. This is the place for me to go when I come back home and I need to get a workout in. Always welcome me back with open arms. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. Both runners are running. Play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports, become a sponsor, join our winning team today.
Focus Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. We're treating injuries when and where they happen and working to prevent them before they do. We believe the best care is coordinated care, helping ensure you get the individualized services you need every step of the way, offering innovative treatment techniques to get you or the athlete you love back in play. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting me up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting, business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing, and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education, but also the experience. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, SummitCitySports.com. Coming to you from Carroll High School. Joe Hacker on the camera. This is Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play. -play. Outstanding environment here on a Saturday evening, a couple days after Thanksgiving here at Carroll High School. Just under a minute left in this halftime break as we get set for the third quarter. What a first half for the point guard for Penn. Number 11, Drew Lutz, the 6'1", 160-pound senior, blew up 15 points, a couple from deep, dropping dimes, pulling assists. The kid is tremendous, and yeah, leading his club right now to a 14-point lead at the halftime break. For Carroll, Dan Daniel McKeeman started off extremely slow, but in that second quarter, boy, did he get it moving. Daniel McKeeman, 14 points to go into the break for Carroll, but they are gonna need David Esha to stay on the floor as he picked up two early fouls and did not play the whole second quarter for head coach Marty Beasley. So we are set eight minutes of game time up on the clock, SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And of course, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Carroll will have possession to start. McKeeman pops out. Esha, Vollmer, Gross, and Shear. Your five for Carroll. Here's Esha, baseline. And that's going to be a foul to start. Good take to the bucket. Applegate will get hit with the personal. And that, I believe, is his third. Let's see if that is on Applegate. It is, and it is his third foul. So that's a big call. Applegate's shown you. Some skills out in the open court as well. So 7.45 on the clock. Another missed opportunity with a missed free throw. Carroll struggled from the line. That time Eja does knock it home. 13-point deficit for the Chargers. Man-to-man -man defense for Carroll as well. On the floor, Lutz, Applegate, Hoskins, Ludwig, and Hickey, starting five also. Lutz, nice up and under with the left hand. The continue goes back to work out of the break. 7.15 on the clock. He now has 17 of the 40 for his Kingsman. McKeeman, left elbow jumper, short. Lutz comes out with another rebound. Look at him push the ball in the look. Lutz. It's a good look. Maybe he went with the bounce pass. Looking at hindsight, but can't fault the motor. And the IQ there for head coach Al Rhodes. What a tremendous player to have running your club. McKeeman, 14 points in that first half. And we're going to have an offense. So turnover, 646 in the third. 15-point lead. Did balloon as much as 20 points in that first half for Penn. Shear, nice job on the switch to move his feet, keep Lutz out of the lane. Lutz, the lefty, jump stop. Tough catch from Applegate, the skip pass to Hickey. 
Hickey. Double teamed. Good look. And that's going to be a blocking foul. Good call by the baseline official as Richie Gross came over. was falling as the player was already in the air. So that is the third on Richie Gross. Front rimmed on the first attempt. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting to get hot and heavy for the next two weeks, then a little bit of break, and then into the Summit Athletic Conference Holiday Basketball Tournament, both boys and girls, which will be played, as always, at Wayne High School. I'll be on the call day after Christmas that starts. Here's Asia up top. Always find us on SummitCitySports.com. Turn around, right-hand jump hook. Just not enough touches for Ezra down low. That's what he can do. His first field goal of the game, he has three points. What a look from Lutz. Tremendous. Lutz to Hoskins for the bucket, 550. Hoskins now with seven points. Feels like Lutz is having an assist on about half of these 42. It's, he's been running this point tremendously for head coach Al Rhodes. Ezra there, nice. And you got to call a block. Once Ezra hit the ground, looked like the baseline official was looking on the no call, which you, if you listen to my broadcast, I always prefer let him play. Benefit of the doubt, always. But once the offender was tripped up at the end, he had to call the block on that. But that would have been huge because Ezra is playing with two. That's a travel. McKeeman is moving too quick. Big coach Marty Beasley saying there's play. Don't worry about it. It's a play. 535. Back to a fifth. It is a 15-point lead again for Penn. Here's Lutz. Drew Lutz. How about that look to Hickey? Three. Bucket. Woo! My goodness. Hickey for the triple on the Lutz cross-court pass in the corner. Hickey now has six, and we're going to have a holding foul on uh, number 25, Derek Durda, the junior. Third team foul on the Kingsmen. Vollmer will look to inbound. They want the lob for Ezra. Good switch. They left Shear open on the switch. Couldn't find him, uh, and then just missed on the handle did Hoskins. Out of bounds. 5'11. Left in this third quarter. SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. You can follow myself on Twitter at Tim Atkinson22. That's at Tim Atkinson22. 505. Ezra, good dribble drive. Lots of contact. And he'll get the foul. Ezra. Starting to put his force and fingertip on the game a little bit, and that's what Carroll needs to have some of that inside out. As Shearer did a lot in that first half. He's got five, but Asia with three points to the line to shoot a pair. Asia, one of three from the charity stripe. 18-point lead still here for Penn. It's the second. Little token pressure. Three minutes into this third quarter. Lutz. He's playing with the screen up top. Gets the switch with Shear, but Shear is super athletic. Good jump stop. That's not a travel. He came down with both feet. Absolutely good no call. Shear with a tremendous rebound. Here comes Carroll and nearly thrown away. And was it touched by Vollmer? No, they're going to say it was not touched by Vollmer. And it will be off of Penn on the throw. 440 on the clock. Forty-five twenty-eight is our score. Thanks for joining us here, ladies and gentlemen, as they have a little table issue. Over on the score, board, score uh, table there. Looks like we all straight. Got the Gatorade upright. Yeah, we had a little 
collision on that far side with a Penn player. 440 on the clock here in the third quarter. We're back to action. McKeeman, Vollmer, Shear, Gross, and Eja, your 5-4 Carroll. Eja up top. The handoff to Vollmer. Wants a screen from Eja, gets it. A little hesitation dribble with the left hand. Look for that drop pass to Shear. Wasn't there. They come back, set it back up top with Gross. Vollmer wants a screen from Eja. No, they want him to post up, but he is pushed way out of that post of the block. Good cut. Well, we're going to have a timeout. Called by head coach Marty Beasley as the offense just a bit stagnant here to start this third quarter. 45-28 is our score. But right back was Lutz. The kid is tremendous. As he rips this cross-court pass. As we'll pull up to SummitCitySports.com replay. Drew Lutz, watch this. He sees him all alone in the corner. Perfect angle. He dribbled himself right into the alleyway. Gave himself that perfect throwing angle for the pass. A little football terminology, but that's exactly what it is. Like a quarterback in the pocket. Moving to find a passing lane. He did. Dribbled right into it. Found him cross court. And the bucket was absolutely drained. So four minutes. We're midway through this third quarter. 45. 28. All five starters on the floor still here for Carroll. Not sure how you have this much confusion off a of timeout. As you see the frustration over there by head coach Beasley, no doubt. It's early in the season, a lot of rust. Knocked away, Lutz with another steal. That's five unofficially, and look at him out in the open floor. Good poke away by Fulmer. Leads to Ezra. Showtime. Two-handed dunk by David Ezra. Cuts it to 15. Ezra now with six. Finally, a little breakout and a little life for the Carroll Charger faithful here in the field house. 3.15 on the clock. Hickey. Ludwig, nice up and under right hand, no. Ezra tapped it over to McKeeman. Out comes McKeeman over the timeline, crossover. Another one with the left hand, kicks it out. Gross, Vollmer, triple, got it. Big bucket from number four, Ray Vollmer, the junior. Cuts it to 12, 50, 45, 33, 240. Lutz, pull up, 17 footer. Drew Lutz, what has he not done tonight for head coach Al Rhodes? Now with 19 points, what a playmaker. Asia up top, settles for the three, back rim no good. Good box out from Penn and Hoskins. Lutz, how about that handle? Lutz, open three. Triple, boo, Ludwig, the senior, the beneficiary of another dime from the talented senior, Drew Lutz. Just like that, back to a 17-point game, but Shear, how about Preston Shear? A bit of force on the offensive glass, Preston Shear. In the corner to Hickey. Minute 20 left in the third quarter. 15 point game, McKeeman lost the handle. Did get it back. Knocked away by Lutz, another steal. Lutz, left hand, you can't let him get to that left hand. He's shown you 17 point. Lutz with the steal in the bucket. Man, is he good. True Lutz.
Here's Ezra, 50 seconds. Ezra can't get it with the right hand. Nice rebound put back by Richie Gross. Need a stop here, does Carroll to end this quarter. 34 seconds, I'm sure Penn's want to hold. For the final shot, 30 seconds. Here's Lutz. Heading to Bethel. So Bethel will continue to get better. Of course, they have the tremendous player out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. And Northside and Travion Cruz there at Bethel College. And they'll get another good one here from Penn and Drew Lutz. Nine seconds. Here is Lutz, seven seconds. He hit a buzzer beater to end the first quarter. As that foul, too much contact on the reach. And here comes in Richard Brooks, the 6'2 freshman for Penn. And the 6'4 sophomore for Carroll, Sam Stryker. Five point eight seconds. They good face guard there. Now they go down low. The face up baseline. They're going to get a foul on Ezra. That will be his third with two seconds left. Beautiful baseline move by Penn, forcing Ezra to make a play defensively and too much on that left leg. Just stuck it out there. Uh, that's a foul. So Relu will check in the senior for Carroll. But what an SA season it's going to be this year, folks. Snyder, Northrup. Carroll, possibly the cream of the crop here, but Penn showing you right now the skill. That's good if it goes. Got it. Are you kidding me? Number 21, Bo Ludwig at the buzzer for three. What a end of the third. And out now, back to an 18 point lead. Summit City Sports.com. Only Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. Reliable. Both runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game, to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Last eight minutes of the game put on the clock. SummitCitySports.com. Joe Hacker on the camera. This is Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play. -play. Excited to be here out at Carroll High School early in this season. Good crowd on hand on the Saturday after Thanksgiving here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, home of Summit City Sports. Here comes that trap as they need to convert, commit some turnovers, force some turnovers, I should say. Lutz couldn't hit that three. That's one of very few misses. Brooks in the corner. Richard Brooks, no good, but another offensive rebound by Durda. Gross. It's a screen from Stryker. Good size from Stryker. Left hand, can't get it. And a board from Hoskins. Seven sixteen on the clock. And Luke Relu will pick up that foul. A 6'2 senior. That's his first and the team's fourth to the line, Bo Ludwig. So we'll have a the big fellow come back in, Ronald Paulus, the sophomore, and out is Hoskins with the fourth personal. Striker rebound. Here comes Volmer. Volmer. 
as Relu. There's Gross. And an offensive foul on Relu, moving screen. 15 foul on Carroll, the second on Relu. Good look down low to Brooks. Good inside out play from Penn. Knocked away, good double team, then out of bounds. An unlucky break for Carroll. Did the defensive job, but just squeaked out of bounds. We'll stay at that end. And they're going to call that one on Penn on the moving screen and a little sarcastic cheer from the fans. Six thirty-five. Gross. So no McKeeman or Ezra on the floor right now for Carroll. This may be a proving moment here for head coach Beasley early in the season. Relu, good right hand, can't get it to go. Put back, no, by Stryker. Good athleticism for the sophomore, and on the put back, he is fouled. He'll head to the line. Up and good. 55-38. So Ezra back in. McKeeman still on the sideline. 6-18 on the clock. Stryker, second attempt. Back rim and can't get the friendly roll. Rebound by Penn. And Lutz will start the offense. Here comes this trap. It's like a 1-3-1-1. One, one, one. Or 1-3-1, one, one, excuse me. Good look to Brooks, nice touch pass. Good inside out from Penn, Lutz, hesitation. Kicks it out, three ball. Lutz, another assist. This one to Lutwig, again, four, three. And Penn on fire and matches their biggest lead of the contest, 20 it is. That's 21. Or excuse me, 16 points for Ludwig now. Just behind the 21 points. Went for the gamble. Didn't get it. Carroll can't make him pay. Up over the top of the backboard. Usually called out of bounds. Uh, then knocked out. But we're going to have a foul with 526. 20-point game. And I think head coach Al Rose is just going to swallow his tongue on that. Up 20 with five, under five and a half left. But what a statement game right here at Carroll in the field house for Penn. Traveling down. To Fort Wayne, but the Bethel College commit, going to be a pilot, Drew Lutz, number 11 for Penn. You're going to hear a lot about him this year in Class 4A. Striker, three ball, short, gets his own rebound, finds Ezra. Guarded by Durda. Good ball fake with the left hand, nice move, Ray Vollmer. Nice little finger roll layup off the ball fake. 5.05. McKeeman, good job moving his feet to cut him off. Forced a tough shot. And Stryker comes down with the board. You can see Sam Stryker getting a lot more minutes as the season progresses here. The sophomore. He's got good size at 6'2", 185 pounds. Or excuse me, 215, 6'4", 215 pounds. But also has a good leaping ability. The kick out. Ezra, three. They need it. Ezra can't get it. Just six points for Ezra. Skip pass. Stryker, good job to wall off, but even better offensive play by Durda. Back to a 20-point game for the Kingsmen. So Marty Beasley, full head coach here for Carroll, is going to have a lot on film to look at here this evening, no doubt. Last touch by Lutz. 60 40, 4 15.
So we'll inbound near side for Carroll. Two three zone for Penn. Slow down the pace. Up by 20. Midway through the fourth quarter. SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Good show by Stryker. Good power dribble. And powers it up, but good minutes here from Stryker. Hoskins with the foul, his second. So Daniel McKeeman went into the halftime break with 14 points, and you look up there, he still has 14. Stryker can't spin that home. Free throws have been an issue as well here for head coach Marty Beasley. So one and out, Lutz, the look ahead. Ludwig, good dribble drive, took a hard hit. Foul. Striker with his second personal foul and the sixth on the Chargers. Bo Ludwig to the line. 16 points, make it 17 on that free throw make. 21 point lead for Penn, didn't see this one coming, that's for sure. But boy, has Penn stepped up. Hits them both, Ludwig does. 3.35 on the clock. Lutz though is tremendous, I tell you what, Bethel College getting another good one. Bethel, of course, up there in Mishawaka. Asia tried to knock it away to McKeeman, but that lob wasn't close. Turnover again for Carroll. Back to Penn, 323. A lot of frustration now on the floor for Carroll. Nice take. Hickey. Biggest lead now, 24, 3.05 left. This Penn team is pretty, pretty solid all the way around for head coach Al Rhodes. And once they get the freshman, Richard Brooks, really intertwined in this offense, that's going to be another piece for Penn. McKeeman finally gets off that 14. What's his 16th point there? Two and a half minutes. Here's Lutz. Ludwig comes back to Hickey. Bobbled it. Dragged that foot. That should have been a travel, but the official saying that the ball was still loose. 205. Lutz, 24 points. Got it. Drew Lutz. Woo! What an outstanding game. Lutz now with 24. He's got to be near a triple double. Shear, good power up. Couldn't get it. Nice defense from Penn. Under two minutes. The lob. Wow. Wow. Drew Lutz to Applegate and the timeout. From Carroll, what a play. As Penn up by 27. And we'll take a break, SummitCitySports.com. Parkview Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. We're treating injuries when and where they happen and working to prevent them before they do. We believe the best care is coordinated care helping ensure you get the individualized services you need every Well, they teased us there, or tricked us, I should say. It's, they just went with a 30-second time out there to get the same subs in. So, Carroll has gone to the bench. Minute and a half, 
Good extra pass up top. In the corner, Seth Cock. Nope. Battle for the rebound. That's knocked out by Carroll. Will go to Penn. 105 remaining. So Drew Lutz, the story of this game. And the Penn players get a hand as now head coach Al Rhodes is the same as head coach Beasley. And goes to the bench here late. And it's going to be a turnover. Fifty-five seconds. Don't forget Tuesday evening at East Noble. Snyder Panthers at East Noble High School. Dylan Duff, Michael Ely for Snyder, taking on Hayden Jones and Ali Ali of East Noble. It's going to be a good one next Tuesday. The lob look, thirty seconds, and yeah, we're going to have a jump ball. Good fight by both players. Twenty seven seconds. Twenty seconds on the clock. The pull up from fifteen. No good. Rebounded by Carroll. And Logan Lankenau, the freshman, and then takes it up, can't get it. And Mertz is fouled, the sophomore. <laughs> Mertz gets the bucket and the harm. 25. Point lead for, Car for Penn. Sixty nine forty five and that will be the final from Harold Carroll High School. What a game from Drew Lutz, the Bethel College commit, twenty four points. Might have to check the stats because he may have had a triple double as well. But what a game from Penn. They win sixty nine forty five early in this season. But thanks for joining us for Joe Hacker. This is Tim Atkinson. We'll see you Tuesday from East Noble. When you experience a sports injury, muscle, or joint pain, you want treatment right away. Parkview Ortho Express provides same-day orthopedic and sports injury care without referral or appointment, offering diagnostics, x-rays, the region's only body composition DEXA scan right inside of the Sport 1 Parkview Fieldhouse. Walk in Monday through Thursday, 7 to 7, Friday, 7 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to noon. For more information, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash orthoexpress. It's the comments. Comments falling from the sky. 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 As a mom, I um, appreciate that um, someone was able to get me into the system, have an, an appointment quickly so we could get him to return to the football team as quick as possible. It was kind of nice to witness the neuro assessment and how in-depth the neuro assessment was here in the concussion clinic. It was just an amazing process. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. 
Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Concussions. They're a concern for parents of athletes in any sport. That's why Parkview Sports Medicine is leading the way with the area's first concussion clinic. Our integrated sports medicine team utilizes an innovative, evidence-based approach to manage athletic-related head injuries in those 14 and older, providing comprehensive care to get the athlete you love safely back in play. To schedule an appointment, call Parkview Sports Medicine at 266-4007. Reaching higher. Pushing further, Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. Get mad about blue. Get mad about your Fort Wayne mad ants. When looking for the best basketball action in town, it's the... to FortWayneMadAnts.com for the complete game schedule. See your Fort Wayne Mad Ants in action. Get mad about blue. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting me up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education but also the experience. Parkview Sports Medicine, especially since I've been a pro, has been a place where my game has really been able to develop in multiple facets. Injury prevention, maintenance, physical therapy, weightlifting, agility work, you know, all the things that I need to do in order to have an NBA body. This is the place for me to go when I come back home and I need to get a workout in. Always welcome me back with open arms. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. Both runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports, become a sponsor, join our winning team today.